what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out what happened to the children of dead wrestlers now this is definitely a touchy subject death is uh it's a part of life but it's most of the time unfortunate and untimely especially when it comes to wrestlers who have children and you know these said wrestlers made a legacy and a name for themselves and then something happens and now the children are you know left without a parent or you know someone that uh that a lot of of the wrestling community love and appreciate it and um they're kind of left without that 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 person and it's it's just tough it's tough even just death outside of wrestling death in general is just a fact of life but it's it's never easy so we're gonna check out what happened to the the children of wrestlers that have passed away appreciate all love and support man we're gonna get right into this one but the sport has claimed a lot of lives. Like any death, many people are affected, and some that are the most impacted are the children. So of what happened to the kids of wrestlers who died young? Let's begin with Umaga. While his WWE career only lasted about three years, mm -hmm. the Samoan Bulldozer accomplished a lot in that time and made a name for himself. In June 2009, Umaga was released from his WWE contract. About six months later, tragedy struck. Umaga's wife found him unconscious at their home. He was rushed to the hospital where he passed away, the cause of death being two heart attacks. Umaga mm -hmm not only left behind a wife, but four children, and unfortunately, his family fell into poverty. This led to Umaga's son, Isaiah Fatu, getting arrested at the age of 15 for Ew. angry and robbery. He ended up getting put behind bars and spent six years in prison. In March 2022, Isaiah was released and thankfully turned his life around. Mm -hmm. He became Muslim and is now following in his father's footsteps. In December 2020, Isaiah started training at Booker T's school, Reality yep. Wrestling. Then, in June 2023, the fourth generation wrestler made his debut as Zilla fought too. Isaiah also paid tribute to his late father yep. by using Umaga's Jeez. signature Samoan Spike. Getting the power from his father. Hey man, uh, shout out to Zilla man. Um, he's doing his thing. I believe he's uh, um, set up in Houston right now, if I'm not mistaken or whatnot. I follow him on Instagram. Instagram, I had a few conversations with him. Um, definitely at some point, we will try to get him on the End of Clutch podcast to, you know, have a, a conversation with him or whatnot. So we're going to try to definitely set that up. But shout out to him just making it, a, you know, making a way. You know, we we have our situations where, you know, we end up in places and in, 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 uh, situations we're not supposed to be in or, you know, things happen, life happens. But it's how you overcome those issues and situations, how you overcome the struggles and to see him out here in the wrestling biz and, and making a name for himself. I love to see it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what, where his wrestling career takes him. Not many people know this, but Andre the Giant had a child. Didn't Robin know this. Robin Christensen Rusimov was born in 1979. While Robin did have regular contact with her father, she only got to see him five times in her oh, entire life. Wow. This was partially due to the strained relationship between Andre and Robin's mother. Oh. Despite this, Andre did his best to give his daughter the best life possible by paying child support and setting up a trust fund for her. Today, mm. Robin lives in Seattle, Washington, and while she has never been involved in wrestling, she does look after her father's legacy. Anytime Andre the Giant's legacy or name is used in anything, Robin has a say and also gets royalties from it. Most recently, as she should, she's been consulting on an Andre the Giant biopic. Unlike everyone else you'll hear about in this video, Chris Benoit is actually responsible for the death of one of his children. Yeah. In June 2007, the former world champion killed his wife and seven-year-old son and then took his own. However, Benoit had two children from a previous marriage, mm -hmm. David, who was 14, and Megan, who was 10. After Chris Benoit's death, both continued to live with their biological mother in Edmonton, Alberta. After staying out of the public eye for over a decade, David Benoit became more public, doing interviews and mm -hmm. appearing at wrestling shows. He discussed interest in training and was even booked to be in a match. Currently, David is in Edmonton working in the oil industry. Chris Benoit's daughter, Megan, has been a lot more quiet though. In fact, it wasn't until 2023 that Megan Benoit had an Instagram account. Oh, wow. The now 26 year old shared a few pictures of her and her father. Beyond that though, not much is known about Megan wow. Benoit. Wow. Which, once again, uh, I understand why, you know, they kept them out of the the public eye because obviously there's gonna be people that have opinions and you know it's to to them it yeah it's it's a heinous thing that what their father did but at the same time it's not like their father was bad to them of course they love their father so it's 
It's uh, that whole Benoit situation. It's just all bad. Prayers to them and continually trying to heal because that's something you you really never truly get over. And they were young, but still, that it destroyed their family, destroyed their life. So they're the fact that they're trying to make the best of it. Kudos to them, man. In 2019, the wrestling world was hit hard by the sudden death of Ashley Massaro. Massaro yeah, joined WWE in 2005 I after winning that. the Diva Search competition. She spent about three years with the company, but left in 2008. The reason was so Ashley could care for her then seven-year-old daughter, Alexa, who was sick. Tragically, in May 2019, Massaro took her own life. In the wake yeah. of her mother's passing, a GoFundMe was set up for Alexa Massaro. The campaign raised $100,000 that went to Alexa Massaro's education. As of right now, Ashley Massaro's daughter daughter is currently a student in Smithtown, New York. While Alexa hasn't given any hints that she wants to become a wrestler, she has done some work as a model, which is what her mother did as well. Owen oh, Hart's death okay. was one of the most sensational in wrestling history due to it happening during a live broadcast. Hart was meant to make a superhero-like entrance by being lowered from the rafters mm -hmm. of the arena and into the ring. However, there was a malfunction and Owen fell to his death. He left behind a wife and two kids, a seven-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter. In the aftermath, Owen Hart's children were each given $3 million in a settlement. Owen's son, Oge, is now 31 years old in 2023. Oh. He's currently attending a school in London, studying to get his PhD in human rights law. Oge Hart is also an artist, guitarist, and world traveler. Okay. Owen's daughter, Athena, turned 28 in 2023. In 2016, she graduated with a degree in journalism and also obtained licenses in nutrition and personal training. Oge okay. and Athena have not been involved with wrestling in any capacity, which is understandable. For that sure. was until 2022, when Owen Hart's children, as well as his wife, were in attendance for AEW Dynamite, who had begun hosting the Owen Hart Cup uh, tournament in 2021. That makes sense. The news of Luke Harper, aka Brody Rest Luke's peace. Dad, was very sudden and very sad. The former Wyatt family member passed away due to a rare condition called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which causes lung tissues to thicken and unable to function. Jeez. At the time of his passing, Harper had two sons, eight-year-old Brody and three-year-old Nolan. Nolan will be turning six in December 2023, and in August 2023, the son of the Backwoods Brawler started kindergarten. Nolan is hoping to become a video game programmer, while his older brother Brody is already following in his dad's footsteps. Uh, in the yeah. aftermath of Brody Lee's passing, the oldest son, Brody Lee Jr., made his AEW debut. Yeah. He soon joined his father's faction, the Dark Order, and started being called Negative One. AEW even signed Luke Harper's son to a contract that'll become valid on January 17th, 2030, his 18th birthday. Mm -hmm. That is, of course, if Negative One decides he wants to pursue a career in wrestling. Even though he had Which is pretty cool. If he ever really wants to do wrestling, he already has a game guaranteed contract i do remember that and that was a cool thing that tony khan uh in aew decided to do so uh once again rest in peace man it's, it's just it's, it's sad yes there's some beautiful you know stuff that comes from this you know the children being taken care of and being able to live their life and enjoy their life the best way they can but it's still ultimately sad man Tired for years, the Ultimate Warrior's death was still shocking for many. The reason was that Warrior had just made his return to Monday Night Raw uh -huh. the day before his death. Yeah. Making it even more tragic was that Warrior's wife became a widow and his two daughters were left without a father. Warrior's oldest child, Indiana, Hell will be man. trained 23 years old in 2023, while his youngest, Madigan, will be 21. While both haven't stepped inside the ropes yet, Indiana did get into the highly competitive Colburn School as a ballet student. Currently, Indiana attends the University of Texas at Austin, okay. where she's majoring in youth and community studies while also working as a professional caregiver. The Ultimate Warrior's youngest daughter, Madigan, is pretty private about her life, but it's assumed she's in school as well. Shad Gaspard's death was both tragic yeah, and heartwarming. In May 2020, too. the former WWE wrestler and his son were swimming at Venice Beach in Los Angeles when they got caught in a strong rip current. Lifeguards came to help them, but Gaspard told the guards to save his son first. While mm -hmm. Gaspard's 10-year-old son, Arye, got to safety, Shad was swept away and ultimately died. Gaspard's son is now 13 years old that's that's the 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 duties of a parent man if you have a child and you love them unconditionally you you put your life on the line to save theirs and that's exactly what he did he is a hero to his family hero to his son hero to everyone that knows this story he's a hero in the wrestling community he sacrificed himself to save his son Rest in peace, man.
and keeps people posted through his Instagram account. Even uh, though he's still in middle school, Arye is already in the gym and lifting weights. It's possible to we'll see Arye Gaspard inside a wrestling ring, but it appears his love is for football and okay. basketball. Either way, it looks like Arye is making his dad proud and doing what he loves. For Crash sure. Crash died only about four months after he got released from his WWE contract. After a roughly five year long career with the company, Holly was let go in June 2003. In November of that year, Holly took his own life Damn, at the young age man. of 32. After receiving divorce papers from his wife. Crash Aww. left behind an eight-year-old daughter named Patty, but luckily she was taken care of. Crash's storyline cousin, Molly Holly, helped raise funds for Patty's education. As of today, Crash Holly's daughter lives in Santa Clara, California, where she's working on getting her GED and currently works as an assistant manager at Little Caesars. Brian Pillman blurred the lines between fiction and real life so mm -hmm. much that when he died, some people didn't believe it at first. The loose cannon passed away alone in his hotel room at the age of 35 on the day of a WB pay-per-view. Pillman had six children, two stepkids, and four biological, and unfortunately, they were not well cared for. His daughter, Whoa. Brittany, and only son, Brian Pillman Jr., were physically abused by their mother's new husband, and at times, didn't know where their next meal was coming from. Tragedy struck the Pillman family once again, when Brian Pillman's stepdaughter, Alexis, passed away younger Damn. than her father. When she was in her mid-twenties, Alexis wanted to get into wrestling and began training. She started working as a valet and manager, and even got an opportunity to work at a TNA Impact Wrestling show. However, Alexis's life came to an abrupt end before her career could take off. In November 2009, Alexis was involved in a failed car crash yeah. and she died at just 26 years old. There is good news though. Both Brittany and Brian Pillman Jr. are doing much better. Mm -hmm. Brittany graduated from college in 2016 and now runs her own clothing store called Ash Haven Co. in Edgewood, Kentucky. She's also married and has a two-year-old son. Brittany has even attended wrestling shows to support her brother. At the age of 23, Brian Pillman Jr. laced up his boots and began training. He quickly made a name for himself and within a few years joined AEW. In July 2023, the second generation wrestler's contract expired and soon joined WWE. Mm -hmm. He's currently performing on NXT under the name Lexus King. 11 miles. Yep. Yep. And it's just, I love that video package they have for him. It, it looks so dope. Very creative. Him trying to make a name for himself. I love it. It was, it was cool. So it's going to be very interesting to see what they do with him in NXT. Hopefully they really utilize him and give him the push that he potentially deserves, man. Where Brian Pillman died, another wrestler would die young. Eddie Guerrero's passing in 2005 hit the wrestling world hard, but it hit his family even harder. Eddie left his wife, Vicky Guerrero, as well as three daughters. Latino Heat's oldest, Shal Guerrero, got into the family business and wrestled for WWE. In 2010, Shal signed a contract with WWE and started training at their development system, FCW, which later became NXT. She wrestled under the name Raquel Diaz, but her career was short-lived. She ultimately left WWE in 2014 due to an eating disorder. Thankfully, uh, she recovered and in 2016, Shaw got married to WWE wrestler Aiden English. Oh, While wow. she isn't an active competitor right now, Shaw is still involved in wrestling, doing re-announcing and commentating for a number of companies, including AEW. Shaw is 33 years old as of 2023 and currently lives in Chicago. She has spent the past several years working as a burlesque dancer. Eddie Guerrero's oh. second oldest child, <laughs> Sherilyn Guerrero, didn't become a wrestler but does tell stories in her own way. The 20 Eight year old currently lives in Houston, Texas, where oh. she works as a client coordinator at the medical aesthetics provider Ideal Image, as well as a freelance photographer and artist. Additionally, Sherilyn is a content creator, posting videos to TikTok and her photography to Instagram. Okay, Sadly, cool. Sherilyn is not on good terms with her mother, Vicky, oh, and her no. sister. In April 2023, Sherilyn posted a video to TikTok where she said she got assaulted by her stepfather in early 2020. Damn. According to Sherilyn, both her mom, Vicky Guerrero, and her sister, Shaw, blocked her from their phones. Sherilyn added that Vicky basically sided with her husband. After Sherilyn posted the video, Vicky responded by saying her daughter was a hostile, narcissistic oh, person, no. among other accusations. Eddie Guerrero also had a third child from a different relationship. Kaylee Guerrero wasn't even four years old when her father passed away. Despite that, Kaylee was accepted by Vicky as part of her family. The now 21-year-old is a special effects makeup artist for film and seems to have a specialty oh, for horror. Cool. It's also worth mentioning that since it just It just sucks that the family's feeding like that. Hopefully they can fix it and reconcile, but damn, that sucks. I hate to hear stories like that, man. You know, Morella has a daughter in WB right now. To see her, watch that's, man, it was cool to see some of these kids, most of them being able to, you know, move past such a tragic incident 
well they're not kids anymore obviously they're adults and living their lives or whatnot but you know the vicky guerrero situation that one kind of sucks because you hate to see that you know what i'm saying uh, especially uh, you know with eddie being gone for so long we know eddie wouldn't want to see his family like that so damn that that's that's the sad one but like i said at the beginning of the video death it's a part of life you know it's it, it's gonna happen there's no way to avoid it all you can do is make sure you cherish the moments and and the loved ones while you're still here or cherish the people that you care about while they're still here man so comment down below let me know some other videos you want me to check out appreciate all the love for you guys for showing on channel road to 150k and i'm still here to speak to you to rest in the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace